Hello everyone, I am Prerak and in this video, I'm going to uh, go over the NFT metadata requirements uh, on the Cardano blockchain. So what is uh, metadata? Uh, each NFT has to have some uh, metadata associated with it to firstly uh, tell that uh, this particular asset is an NFT and also oh, for other, uh, so uh, let's say websites like JPG store or uh, uh, pool.pm, uh, they have to know the characteristics of, of that particular NFT and they have to know what uh, media files are associated with your NFT. For that uh, to happen uh, seamlessly, you need to have uh, the correct metadata in a, a particular format. Uh, so if you are uh, making your own NFT project, you need to uh, nail these things. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you how you can do that. Okay, so uh, the template which you are going to follow is uh, the uh, Cardano Improvement Proposal 25, uh, which lays down the NFT metadata standard. So firstly, what I'm go going to do is I'm going to uh, write everything that uh, needs to be in every NFT. And then I'm going to show uh, how you can add customizations. So uh, you can add things like, uh, let's say a rarity aspect for your NFT. Uh, I'll show you how you can do that. So the metadata is a JSON file and the uh, JSON is uh, basically, uh, uh, it contains key value pairs recursively. So for your uh, particular NFT, uh, to tell everyone that it is an NFT, the first key has to be 721. This is uh, just a convention and doesn't mean much. After that, uh, you have to insert the policy ID of the particular NFT. So you would be having a policy ID. You have to insert it here. After you have inserted the policy ID, uh, you, you have to tell the name of your uh, particular NFT. So I'm just going to name it my NFT one. Okay, so now uh, we have, uh, in the first line, we have told that this is an NFT. Then we have uh, written down the policy ID of the NFT. And after that, uh, we have written down the name of the NFT. So now we can uh, start filling up uh, details uh, related to this particular NFT. So there are uh, some things uh, which every NFT has to have in the template. So I'll I'll be uh, following uh, uh, this as a reference. So this is uh, an NFT. Uh, meta, uh, this is the metadata for a particular NFT. I'll be following this for reference. Right. So our NFT has to have an image. So you need to have a, a key called image and uh, in the value for this, uh, you have to add the IPFS hash of the image. So this image can be in the form of a PNG or it can be uh, in the form of a uh, JPG. IPFS hash uh, is the hash of a particular media file that you are uh, going to get uh, once you uh, pin it to the uh, IPFS uh, 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 file system. So inside uh, uh, the image, you have to write the IPFS hash. Uh, you'll be getting the IPFS and uh, you can insert it here. Uh, you also have to make sure that uh, first you write IPFS colon and uh, two forward slashes. And after that, you have to uh, write the hash. After that, you have to specify the media type uh, for your NFT. So oh, I'm just going to assume that this is going to be a PNG. Uh, it, you can also go with JPG. So instead, if you're going with JPG, you have to write JPG here. Uh, but in uh, this one, I'm just going to go with PNG. After that, uh, uh, what is uh, necessary is that uh, you also need to have a name. So name, uh, so my NFT is called my NFT one. Right. So uh, now, uh, you, what you have is you have a kind of a thumbnail for the NFT. This is going to be an image. Now you need to uh, add what files you want to be added to the NFT. Also, you have to make sure that uh, whenever you add a new key uh, inside this uh, particular metadata, you uh, use a comma. So I've added a comma and now I'll be adding the files. Uh, this, these are basically going to be the uh, media files which are uh, going to be associated with, uh, with my NFT. And uh, this is uh, going to be an array. Uh, so inside the array, I can have uh, multiple files. So uh, now I'm going to uh, define uh, my first uh, uh, first media file. This is uh, going to be the same 
as the one I have already defined. So this metadata and uh, the information inside this is going to be same. After that, uh, you need to have the name. The uh, name is also my NFT one, right? So now uh, you have a very bare uh, bones NFT. So uh, uh, using this uh, particular metadata file, uh, you can uh, mint your NFT, but uh, you need to, uh, but if you are running your own project, you need to have a, a little customization inside the NFT. So now whatever, uh, extra fields you want to add inside this NFT, uh, they need to be added. So let's say uh, this NFT has an uh, attribute called hair color. Okay, and uh, this is a string. So uh, let's say the hair color is brown. So this is how you can add. So this becomes the uh, attribute, it becomes one of the attributes of the NFT. Now let's say you want to add something else also. Let's say uh, you want to add power. Uh, and let's just assume that it is going to be 100. Uh, so if you want to add a uh, custom metadata to NFT, this is how you add. Uh, so uh, everything other than that, you just have to have. And these are the customization. Uh, and also you need to make sure that your strings are not too long. So uh, let's say if you are, uh, if you want to add a string, which is very long, it is, uh, I would uh, advise you to uh, convert it into an array and then uh, add it inside the metadata because uh, the metadata standards actually have a limit on uh, the length of a string. So let's say I have another attribute uh, and it is a very long string. So this is something like that. Okay. So it goes on and on and on and on. Okay. So let's assume it goes even longer. So instead of having that, uh, what you should have is you should have an array here and you should break it down into more strings something like this. So uh, it's not advisable to have strings which are too long. So I would say something like uh, uh, 60 characters is fine, uh, but uh, more than that, you should uh, start breaking it down. Also, uh, if you want some, uh, if you want your NFTs to have more than one media file, uh, so I'll uh, give you an example of uh, what that would look like. So this is just a, a bare bones thing here. Uh, we just have added an image here, uh, but just a second. So what you can see is uh, you can also have more than uh, one media uh, file uh, connected to an NFT. Uh, so uh, when you look here, uh, you have two uh, media files. So this is JPG store for a project uh, and it is showing two media files. Uh, one is a video uh, and the other is an image. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, corresponding uh, metadata uh, for this uh, particular NFT. So uh, now what you want is you also, you can add uh, another file to it. So name, uh, let's say uh, I'll just name it my NFT one. After that media type, uh, let's say I want to add an MP4 image. So I'll go with image video MP4. And after that, uh, I, Oh, so just a second, I, I made uh, just, just one uh, small mistake. So instead of uh, writing image here, uh, the field should be SRC, uh, which is uh, an uh, abbreviation for source. So source, uh, media type and name. And here also we have name, uh, media type and source. Uh, and the source should be the IPFS hash of this particular uh, video file uh, that you want. And so on, you can have uh, uh, multiple the media files. So uh, currently uh, I'm looking at the documentation for NFT maker pro and uh, uh, they uh, just show you a lot of the uh, sub files which are supported. So although the file can theoretically be anything, uh, uh, but some of these platforms only support a particular file. So I'm going to assume that uh, a pool PM or a JPG store would also be assuming these files only. So you can have something like a zip, you can have PDF, you can have JSON, uh, you can have images, uh, you can have audio, uh, and uh, you can also have a, a GLTF file. So uh, I've seen a GLTF file. So GLTF file is basically a 3D model. 
and you can also have that. Right. So if you just go and mint it, so these are the attributes which this particular NFT is going to have, and this and it is also going to have uh, two media files. So this is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to uh, uh, follow up uh, with an example so it gets uh, more clear to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching.